CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss the concept of actual and formal parameter. In the previous sessions, we have discussed the topic categories of function. There are four different categories of functions we have discussed. In the four categories, we have frequently used the concept actual parameter and formal parameter. So now we will discuss what is the purpose of actual parameter, how it is used in functions and what is its importance. Okay. So first actual parameter. So here the parameters are nothing but simply variables. So variables that are used when a function call is involved are called actual parameters. Already we know what is a function call. So the function call is used in main function. For example, add of a comma b. Okay. So this is a function call and this statement we have to use only in main function. And this add is nothing but the function name and this a and b are nothing but the parameters. So, the parameters a and b used in function called are nothing but actual parameters. Okay. This actual parameter is otherwise called arguments. We can call in other name as arguments. Okay. Data can be transferred to functions using actual parameters. So, here this A and B are nothing but actual parameters and this actual parameter will only hold the actual value what is the user has entered and also it will transfer that value to the user defined function that is the formal parameter of function header. It will transfer the actual data or actual value. So, data can be transferred to function using actual parameters. And the corresponding formal parameters will receive this actual parameters value in function definition. That is function header of function definition. And here the number of actual and formal parameter and its data type should match. So we already know there are three elements in use to define function. One is function declaration, second one is function call and third one is function definition. So here the function in function declaration and the function header of function definition, everything should be same. That is the function name, return data type and the parameter list along with its data type. Everything should match and both the function declaration and function header, it should match with the function call. And in function call, the difference here is the return data type we won't use here. And the parameters we won't mention along with its data type. Here simply the function name and the parameters we have mentioned. Okay. But the number here, for example, here we have mentioned two parameters. So in formal parameter list also, we have to mention only two parameters only. But formal parameters should be mentioned along with its data type. That is the difference. Okay. So here. The number of actual and formal parameters and its data type. Suppose here if you have declared A as integer data type and in formal parameter if you have used float A in the sense that is wrong. That is the data type of the formal parameter and actual parameter should match and its number, the number of parameters. So here there are two parameters. In formal parameter also there should be two parameter only. And these two parameters, if it is integer data type in the sense, there also we should use only integer data type. Okay. And this actual parameter is used in calling function. That is a function call. And it can be a constant or variables or expression. So, for example, we can pass the constant values also. That is 7, 8, any value. So, this is one value and this is another value. It should be passed to the formal parameter in the function header. Okay. But in the formal parameter, that should be a variable only. That is a parameter. Okay. There we should not use constants. But here in function called, we can send the actual parameter as constant. This is valid. Similarly, add of a comma b. This is also valid. We can send through variables also. Okay. So, these variables internally will hold some values and this value we will send to the formal parameter. 
or expressions also that is add of a plus b comma c likewise also we can send this expression also we can send so this expression will be reduced to a single value and this single value will be passed to the formal parameter okay so we can use expressions also so in actual parameter we can directly send the constant values or through variables or as expressions but in formal parameter it should be variables only we should not use any constants or expressions there it should be variables only okay and addresses of actual parameter can be sent to formal parameter for example add of address this ambison symbol represents the address of the variable a and what is the value stored in that memory location that it will refer okay similarly address of b so this is also possible and if you are sending like this in the sense in formal parameter it should be declared for example int this is the function header and here only we will use formal parameter int a comma int b likewise only we will use okay this is a formal parameter so if you are sending the address means here the formal parameter should be declared as a pointer variable so this pointer represents in this address what is the value stored that it will refer okay so here if you are sending the actual parameter as a address in the sense the formal parameter should be declared as a pointer variable so this is the concept of actual parameter and the formal parameter if you are considering in the sense variables defined in function header of function definition are called formal parameters for example int add of int a comma int b so this is a function header okay and its corresponding function call is add of a comma b so here return data type is not required and the actual parameters it is not required to mention along with its data type okay but the formal parameters here it should be mentioned along with its data type and its function also it should have a return data type if uh, the function does not return anything in the sense instead of int we have to use void okay so these are all the basic things we should know so the variables defined in function header of function definition this is nothing but the formal parameter and this formal parameter otherwise we can call it as dummy parameters okay all variables should be separately declared that is if a in the sense that should be declared along with data type this should be separate similarly variable b in the sense this should be declared along with data type and these declaration should be separated by comma and this formal parameters will receive data from actual parameter so what is the value of this actual parameter that should be sent to this formal parameter and what is the value of this actual parameter b that should be sent to this formal parameter so here it should match the number of parameters and its data type also should match and here only variables are allowed expressions and constructs are not allowed that is here only we should use variables only so instead of int a we should not use 7 comma 8 this is wrong or a plus b comma c likewise we should not use this is also wrong okay only the variables only we have to use that also it should be declared along with its data type so this is nothing but formal parameter so actual parameter is nothing but it is used in function called and, and the formal parameter it is used in function header of function definition and the actual parameter if you are considering in the sense it is not required to specify along with this data type but the formal parameter it should be specified along with its data type and the actual parameter will send the values to the formal parameter and the formal parameter will receive the values from the actual parameter and the actual parameter is otherwise called arguments and the formal parameter is otherwise called dummy parameter okay so this is the concept of actual and formal parameters so for example if you are considering this is a program to swap two values okay so here if you are considering this is nothing but 
function call okay and this is nothing but function header okay so the parameters used in function call this a and b are nothing but actual parameters and the parameters used in function header of function definition that is nothing but formal parameters okay so this actual parameter if you are considering this will hold the value of a and b what is the user has entered and this value it will send to the formal parameter corresponding formal parameter so what is the first parameter it will send it here it is not necessary here the actual parameter and formal parameter name should match it is not necessary here it is a here it is x how it will match in the sense the first parameter what it is mentioned in formal parameter the actual parameter will send the value similarly the second parameter b will send the value to corresponding formal parameter it is not necessary to match with its parameter name any name we can able to mention so here the a value it will be sent to its corresponding formal parameter x yes. b value will send to its corresponding formal parameter y and here actual parameter there are only two parameters and here formal parameter also there are only two parameters the actual parameter data type is int both a and b are integer data types similarly in formal parameter the data type should be int only and the formal parameter it should be mentioned along with its return data type but in function call it is not necessary to mention along with its return data type okay so the main thing here is function name should match the number of parameters should match and its data type should match okay so this is more than enough for the actual parameters and formal parameters when it is used in functions so i think now we will understand the concept of actual parameter and formal parameter better thank you for watching this video